here's a couple instructions for you. This video is for informational purposes only because working on appliances may be hazardous. Now here's a little tip for you as far as the thermal uh, cutoff goes. The thermal cutoff blows, you, it's likely you should suspect also a high limit thermostat which is located on your heat element. My experience is that uh, there is a high limit thermostat and a temperature control thermostat on that heat element. They recommend you replace both at the same time. Um, my experience is 50% of the time you don't re need to replace both. Only need to replace the high, uh, uh, the therm high limit thermal cutoff, not the thermostat. But here they recommend and do as I say, not as I do. Replace the high limit thermostat and the high limit cutoff. Okay, so this is the heat element that I tied about a year ago. Kenmore Elite. So we're going to take this apart, clean it a little bit, and replace the heat element. Okay, here's an unplug. So, this one, as you can see, I have to take the screws off the back to pull the top loose. And then there's screws on the top front panel and on the front sides to pull that panel and that out. <laughs> belt, basically. This belt has a switch on it, so if your belt breaks, the dryer stops. And you see the motor spinning freely. Want to do is check the continuity. A couple things. First thing we're going to do is check the continuity on this. Be sure your unit is unplugged. Continuity here. Is probably gonna show good. Just, yeah, it's good. So the continuity here on the heat element is probably gonna show open. So that is the open heat element. Okay, so he, here is the heat element that I tied about a year ago and you can see that it actually ended up touching the frame and shorting there now this heat element could be retied um, these ends cleaned up and retied this one lasted um, Probably at least a year. I would imagine they do two loads of laundry. It's a it's a uh, four-person uh, household. But anyway, we got a new one in, and we got it all lubed up and ready to put back together. And so it's always a good idea to clean out the excess lint. Make sure you check your rollers. I've already checked these and lubed them. They're intact. Check your idler. Make sure it's working good. Not stiff. 
Check your motor, make sure it's spinning okay. And check your vent. Now this one's got a pretty long vent. Let's calculate this vent here. This has got, okay, it's got a 90 right there. So that's plus three foot right there. So we got three, three, six, nine, it's about a 10 foot. 10 foot vent and it comes out right here you should always check your vents um, for blockage because vents are the major issues with dryers okay and once again thanks a lot for watching please rate comment and subscribe